this time I'm testing out an item that you guys recommended. Hello my friend, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, and food review videos. In today's video, we're going to review another food item from Costco. Ta-da! And another food item from Kevin's Natural Foods. So previously on my channel, I actually tested out two items from Kevin's Natural Foods. One of them was a sweet Thai curry chicken, and another one was the Korean barbecue flavored chicken. This time, I'm testing out an item that you guys recommended. Thank you so much for commenting on my previous videos about your favorite items from Costco. And one of you commented that one of your favorite flavor from Kevin's Natural Foods is the roasted garlic chicken. So the other day, I saw this item at Costco and I have to test it out but what if you don't have membership at Costco don't worry I actually saw more flavors in our local grocery store so definitely go hunt them down you don't have to buy them from Costco but I do buy them from Costco just because the price is a little bit cheaper with a bigger value I believe me I've seen way more flavor in the local grocery stores in my town so definitely you don't have to buy it from Costco but I did purchase this item from Costco I'm so excited to try this out before we start don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up it really helps me out with the algorithm and thank you so much for your comments keep them coming and let's get into today's test since this is not the first time I try out this item I do want to say some disclaimers before my taste test and giving my scores. First of all, if you notice, this is a pre-made, pre-packaged chicken food item. So if you do compare this item with like fresh chicken, you buy from Whole Foods, made for fresh, definitely the texture of fresh made chicken will taste better than the pre-packaged chicken. So when I say this food tastes really, really good, I'm comparing this item with other like pre-packed refrigerated chicken, not like the rotisserie chicken you get from your local grocery store that's like freshly made or anything you get from Whole Foods that you make at home. Second of all, it does say that this is a paleo item. I think previously some people are saying like paleo diet is not like a real diet. I do agree. I don't think paleo diet is like a diet, but at the same time, I do like food from Kevin's Natural Foods just because if you look at the nutrition facts, usually don't contain a lot of sugar. So sometimes there's no sugar at all sometimes it's like one or two grams of sugar if you buy like any compound chicken or any whatever like from the pre-packaged food area you would notice that a lot of those pre-packaged chicken items they usually contain a lot of sodium and the sauce contains a lot of sugar so in Kevin's natural foods items I usually don't see a lot of sodium I usually don't see a lot of sugar which makes it a little bit healthier if you want to watch your sugar intake or sodium intake so overall I do usually like food from this brand but I do notice that sometimes it's not as flavorful as those like super heavily salted and sugary pre-packaged compound chicken so just saying sometimes you do have to sacrifice that all right, so with those disclaimers out of the way, let's get into today's test. So in today's video, we're going to test the Kevin's Natural Foods Paleo Roasted Garlic Chicken. And it says this is ready in five minutes. It's the sous vide chicken breast strips paired with a vibrant cream sauce made with roasted garlic, coconut milk, and a hint of lemon. So you can either cook it in the stovetop or microwave. Honestly, I've never <laughs> cooked Kevin's chicken in a microwave because stovetop is usually the better way to go so okay so let's open this i think if you buy these from costco there are two packages two packs come within one box but i think if you buy from other grocery stores i'm not sure if it's two packs maybe it's one i did notice it's smaller in the local grocery store okay here we go two packs of chicken two packs of sauce and this is a garlic cream sauce and let's get into today's cooking all right, so the first thing you do is to break the chicken apart in a bag. It's, it's very easy to do this. It says it's already cooked to perfection, so when you cook it yourself, make sure you don't overcook it. Sous vide. Sous vide is pronounced sous vide. Sous vide. Okay. We cut the bag a little bit, and then now we're draining the chicken broth. Drain it out. 
Okay. So I already drained it, and now let's go to the stove top. This should be easy. So here we're by my burnt pan by my husband, but it still works. It's okay. This is what happens when your husband cooks, but I can't complain since he's making food for us. So now we're gonna put in the chicken. We're gonna cook this for two minutes until the chicken is slightly brown. Remember the chicken is already pre-cooked, so here you're just heating it up. Make sure you know you're heating up the chicken to a safe temperature since chicken can be a little bit more sensitive to handle and prone to bacteria infection. So here we're gonna heat up for two minutes. Okay, so now you guys see that like some chicken have their edges turned golden brown. So make sure you monitor it and make sure you don't overheat it. Now we're gonna turn down the heat to simmer to low. And now it's time to put in the sauce. Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, that's a lot of sauce for the chicken. This is definitely way more sauce than I expected. I can definitely smell the garlic from the sauce. So in the low heat, we're gonna try to stir it to make sure all of the chicken are covered, covered with sauce. Definitely, it's a lot of sauce for the chicken. Right, I think it's pretty much done. The sauce is all bubbling and everything. It's time to take it out. Alrighty! Alrighty, here's the chicken. It's time to do the taste test. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we got the chicken out and let's try this. Mmm. I really like the flavor. It's garlicky in terms of the flavor, but it's not like, you know, sometimes you can eat food with garlic and it goes to your brain. This one doesn't. This one kind of has like garlicky smell. It kind of have a garlicky aftertaste, but it's not like it's more of like making the chicken more flavorful. And I really like that combination of garlic and lemon flavor. You can taste it. It's really good. Hmm. Honestly, it's better than I thought. I was thinking next time I could make some eggplants and maybe like mix them with the sauce because I felt like there are a lot of sauce. So I can probably add more eggplant to make like eggplant with garlic sauce with chicken. That would be a really good addition. So we can kind of see the garlic, the diced garlic right here, or the minced garlic in the sauce, but it's all cooked garlic. So it has the garlic taste, but it's not like raw garlic that's like super strong. So yeah, overall, I think I would give this item maybe like a nine, because I do think this one tastes better than the Korean barbecue. It's kind of like similar to, I think this one and the Thai chicken, they're both very similar in terms of it's either love or hate. Like it's either you love Thai curry or you hate cut Thai curry, or it's either you like garlic sauce or you hate garlic sauce. But in terms of the flavor, I do want to say it's more flavorful than the Korean barbecue chicken from Kevin's Natural Foods. So overall, I do enjoy this item. I do recommend this item. It's chicken breast, so if you prefer like breast meat, this one is the one for you, and it's so easy. It's five minute quick. So, make, so now I'm gonna try to make some eggplant on the side and then mix them all together. It's gonna taste so, so good. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. I think it's a success. Thank you so much for recommending this item in my comment box. And keep your comments coming. If you try this item, how do you like this item? I know the texture of the chicken is not as great as like the super fresh chicken. But just remember, this has come from a package and the flavor itself, it's pretty good. It's so convenient. And I want to say it's not too expensive either. So yeah. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, if it's helpful before you made your purchase, please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and it will mean the world to me if you subscribe and ring the notification bell and join the family and join the community and let's help out each other to discover more food. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and eating with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!